All right. Good morning, everybody. It is 8.45 on Tuesday, June 2nd. Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, we are, geez, we've been walking for, oh no, I guess about hour and 45 minutes now, maybe almost two hours. Uh, had a really interesting night. Slept in a beautiful meadow. Oh, probably about 8,500 feet. And uh, <laughs> middle of the night, I had two bull elk on each side of my tent. I don't know how close they were. They weren't necessarily bugling. It's not that time of the year, but they were making this like kind of half bugle. Uh, obviously it's not the rut. They still have velvet horns, but I woke up because I could feel it reverberating in my body. Like I could hear it and feel it. It was like a trombone on each side of my tent. So that was a really good wake up call about three o'clock in the morning. But finally they gave it up and took off. And uh, so we've been hiking this morning. You may notice that I'm not wearing a shirt and that is not to attract the ladies to the YouTube channel. No, that is because everything I own it's soaking wet. Uh, yesterday, it hailed and rained almost all day long. Uh, never could get dry. And uh, my tent was soaking wet because of the humidity. It really wetted down. And uh, so I did my best to, um, to, to try to get it dry, but just couldn't do it. So anyways, we got everything on the back back there drying out when we stop for lunch today we'll throw everything out again and, and try to dry it out but uh, yeah so until then it's just going to be like this we've got to go over 10,000 feet today it'll be the last big climb before Colorado uh, we will get over 10,000 a couple more times but Instead of climbing 1,500, 2,000 feet, we'll only have to climb like 500 feet, maybe. So, with that being said, we're just going to keep getting on after it. As you can tell, we are not in the desert anymore, by any means. Uh, you know, New Mexico seemed like it was 90% talcum powder and and uh, hot, but uh, this has really changed. I really feel like uh, this is a welcome, welcome to Colorado kind of stretch. We have less than 50 miles to go. Uh, hopefully midday on Thursday, we'll be at Coombrees Pass, get a hitch back to Chama, pizza and a cold beer. <laughs> Adios. second Tuesday and um, I rarely do a video but uh, we got up to a high spot and um, and the coyotes are singing right now and uh, anyways I just cooked dinner because I did over 27 miles today and uh, and that's not why I'm smiling so much it's because there's 24 miles to Colorado. Like, I'm that close. And I'm super, super, super excited. 
So I am celebrating for one, doing 27, I was like 27 and a half or 27.6 miles. And two, because I'm so close to Colorado. Uh, hopefully tomorrow in the first eight, nine miles, we'll get up over 11,000 feet. And um, I may even have cell phone signal up there. So I may make a few phone calls. And then the rest of it is kind of all downhill, uh, really, other than one little bump, uh, bump up, but pretty much all downhill to the Colorado border. So anyways, I'm going to eat my Mexican style rice and uh, jerky and um, my uh, builder protein bar. Excellent. And uh, I'm going to listen to these coyotes sing some more. Read my book. And uh, maybe watch the sun go down. This is like the most pretty spot I've, I've been on to date in New Mexico. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm so close to Colorado or not, but it's, actually, it's very pretty. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Adios.